Do you have any thoughts on that uh, statement that the arms that come off the MSE are problematic and that the FME, the face Genix expander, could be an improved device because of its lack of molar arms? Uh, you know, uh, again, I don't want to badmouth anybody. Since I don't have enough knowledge about that, uh, you know, run, I try to reserve my, you know, opinion on this. Okay. I need to, you know, uh, again, we need to open, we need to be open-minded about this new evolution in the field that is happening. And uh, if I say no, I'm going to negate what I just a statement that I made. So I stay open-minded. I want to study it before I say anything negative about it. But let me then ask you this. What is the point of the arms that come off of the MARPI devices? Why do they have them if there's no dental expansion needed? Well, the advantage of the having the arms supporting the dental, I mentioned to you before, we expand the upper jaw. If the teeth, they don't have support of the arms, the pressure against the cheek can push the teeth in, all right? So it means that can push the teeth and constrict the arch when the palate is expanded. So the net result is going to be not as effective. So just imagine that we expand the palate and teeth are going to be expanded to make the room for the tongue and nasal cavity is going to be expanded. Versus if you expand the palate, but the teeth come back, all right? So still we run to the not having enough room for the tongue. So that's why having the arm to support the teeth, not dropping back is advantageous. So you're saying when uh, the maxilla is split and it's expanded, the teeth are going for a ride on the landmass, let's say, but then the teeth eventually hit an obstruction during the expansion process. Something right here, presumably? Teeth, no, the cheekbones. They're hitting the, the, they're, you know, they're hitting the, the No, 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 not cheekbones, the boxinator muscle, all right? The okay. The boxinator muscle, the soft tissue, when we move, expand, the teeth can run to the boxinator muscle, all right? And the boxinator muscle can constrict the, you know, teeth, so arch can get narrow. So, Especially when we have, when we have, you know, uh, when the expansion happens, MSE, and we need to leave the expander about three to sometimes five months, just imagine the teeth hard to come together. And I have a question for you, um, you know, Ron. Mm. You have seen when the MSE happens, all right? Have you seen the space between the front teeth? Yes, right? I have. Have you seen that the space closed by itself? Um, what is closing that the space by itself? Uh, is it, the fibers. The fibers that are attached to the teeth bring them together and close the space with no braces or Invisalign. The same thing, it can happen so we expand the palate. This time is not the fibers that bring it back. If you don't have support on the, you know, teeth, is the boxinator and the, you know, soft tissue of the, you know, cheeks. They can push the teeth back. 